Sometimes people shy away from projects that have zippers in them because they seem complex. Well, I'm going to show you how easy to you it is to use the foot eye, the zipper foot that comes with the Singer Heavy Duty 4411 soy machine. So first thing to know is that the zipper foot actually has two sides. It does have a left side and a right side. So depending on which side of the teeth you are sewing on, uh, some directions you're going to be attaching it to the left like you would here if you wanted to stitch close to the teeth or if you were doing some top stitching from the other side you will switch it over and be attached to the right side. So to put the foot on touch the little lever on the back of the foot that drops off the first one and since we're going to be putting our zipper on the fabric edge like so we can see that we need to be attached to the left side. So I'm going to position this underneath the foot move my thread out of the way and lower the presser foot on until it clicks into place. Now, if it doesn't click into place, slightly move the foot towards you and it will attach. Next, you're, you're just going to be on a straight stitch, stitch length about two and a half. Make sure your stitch width is at zero. I know you're doing a straight stitch, but if it's at zero, it's right where it needs to be. Needle position, of course, in the center as well. And when you lower the presser foot down, you're gonna be stitching nice and close to the zipper. Now, do you notice how long this zipper is? I am a fan of extra long zippers for a project. That way, if the pattern calls for a nine inch zipper, but I have the perfect color in a 14 inch, oh yeah, I'm using it because I'm gonna be cutting this off anyway or sewing it into the edge of the project. So unless it's very specific, you really can use longer zippers than you are um, then it's required. They're just telling you the minimum. So all I'm going to do is just really keep the zipper teeth hugged against the foot. It is that easy. These days pattern designers have found a ways to make sure that it actually makes sense to put the zipper in good pictures, good graphics, good directions. Okay, so traditionally that's usually how the first side is attached to your fabric, right sides together here, and then you go to your iron and you press it. Oftentimes you press that flat and then you come back and top stitch that in place. So if I was to slide this in, you can see I'm no longer on the correct side of the zipper foot. So this would be a perfect example where you would want to take it off and switch it around. Now this particular concept is what you'll normally run into. Now, if you didn't want to switch it, you could have sewn it like this, but sometimes this fabric is much bigger than the small piece that I'm showing you, and that puts a lot of extra fabric inside your machine. I'm always a fan of making sure the bulk of all my fabric is to the left of the needle. All right, so just let's set it down. And again, we're top stitching. Again, if you have pressed it, you'll find that by pressing it, it will be nice and flat and easy to top stitch in place. So this is what you're looking at for getting a zipper started in your next project.